I'm SD and I'm about to save you so much money at the tailors because I'm going to show you two ways that you can shorten your own dress pants at home. One way with a sewing machine and then one way without a sewing machine. And I really hate long intros. Let's uh, let's do this. Get all your stuff. You need a sewing machine, some measuring tape or a ruler if that's all you got. You need an iron, some sewing pins, some scissors. Oh, and uh, a hand sewing needle and thread, and well, you need, you need some shoes too. Put your pants and your shoes on and fold your pants up and inside to where you want your new edge of your pants to be, depending on how many breaks you want or if you want any breaks in your pants at all. Put a pin right there so that that spot is held in place. And once you get the length right, sit down. Make sure that your pants won't be too high when you're sitting because I've, uh, well, I've, I've done that before. Do the same thing on the other leg and take them off and then turn them inside out and iron everything down so that you have a nice new crease. Now measure to see what that distance is from your original hemline to your new hemline. With your pants rolled up all the way around the circumference of your leg, make sure that it's an equal distance around so that, well, that they're not lopsided. Take some pins and pin it all up with the pins running perpendicular to your hem because, well, they're just they're so much easier to take out that way when you're sewing. Let's, uh... Let's start with a sewing machine method. Oh, and if you've never used a sewing machine before, I've made a whole bunch of in-depth tutorials on the ins and the outs, so if I lose you in this process at all, you can, you can just go get caught up down there in the description. These stitches on our original hem, well, they're pretty close together. And we want to kind of make sure that we replicate all of this as much as we can. So what I did is I set my straight stitch distance to the shortest it would allow me to, and I'm just going to start Start on the inseam and sew straight along and use my seam guide to make sure that my stitch is straight. And the seam guide are all those lines on that plate on your sewing machine and I made a video going like way in depth into that and how to use it and all that stuff. Don't worry, I got you bro! Cut off all that extra fabric that you have and you can either finish it with a zigzag stitch or you could just leave it and hope that it doesn't fray, but maybe uh, maybe use a zigzag stitch just, just, just in case. Side note, this is easiest when your pants are tapered. And if you need to know how to taper your pants, you can check out the card. Now for the other side, let's hand sew it. Let's, uh, let's blind stitch this bad boy, shall we? Okay, so remember how we folded our leg up on the other side as well? Well, we're gonna have way too much fabric to blind stitch all of that. Plus our original hem is just gonna kinda get in the way. So we're gonna wanna cut that off and then you're gonna leave yourself about an inch and a half of a seam allowance. And a seam allowance is just that distance between the cut that we just made and well, the edge, it's, it's pretty simple, huh? Take that part that you just cut and then fold it inside of itself and then pin everything all up.
The blind stitch is so easy! The majority of the stitch is gonna exist running inside of that fold that we just made and then we come back out and we do a quick in and out through the front of our pants. Again, inside of and horizontally through that fold and then boom, quick in and out through the front and then back up and then horizontally again. And just do that all the way around. Once you're done, look at the outside and you should barely be able to see those stitches. Who's got two thumbs and won't ever have to wear long dress pants to work ever again? This guy, meaning well, meaning you. Thanks for watching. SD out. Deuces!